Hey everybody, this is Paul. So in the last tutorial we just finished uh, writing the read item function. So in this tutorial we're going to code the pop function. So it's going to be a void return type from the stack class. And uh, then we're just going to select pop or you can type that in. And then an opening and closing curly brace. And so basically what the pop function is going to do is it's going to remove the top item from the stack. And then we'll go ahead and make it print the contents of that item to the screen. So the first thing we need to do is we need to check to see if there's actually any items on the stack because if there's nothing on the stack then the pop function isn't going to need to do anything. So the way we are going to check that is we're just going to check to see what the stack pointer is pointing to. So we're going to see if the stack pointer is pointing to something or not. So if the stack pointer is pointing to null then that means that there's nothing on the stack and that means that we don't need our pop function to do anything so we're just going to do a cout statement that says there is nothing on the stack so and we'll do an end line there so basically if the stack is empty then when we call the pop function this is all it's going to do it's just going to print this statement there is nothing on the stack or we could say the stack is empty, it doesn't really matter. It just lets us know that uh, there was nothing to pop off. So then we're going to do an else statement. And so this else statement will execute if the if statement doesn't execute. So either the stack is going to be empty and it will print this statement, or it will go in here because there is something on the stack and it will do some stuff in here. It will basically pop the top item off the stack and kind of print its contents to the screen. So the way we're going to do that is if there is a stack, we're going to create an item pointer. And we'll just call that P for pointer. And we're just going to make that point to whatever the stack pointer is pointing to, since the stack pointer is always going to be pointing to the top item of the stack. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to say, well, we want to know what was in that item. We want to know what's in the top of the stack. So what we're going to do is we're just going to call the read item function and so we're just going to pass in this new pointer you could also pass in the stack pointer as well but we're just going to pass in this new pointer that's now pointing to the top of the stack and read item is basically going to go up here and it's going to print out the name and the value inside the item of the top of the stack so that's what that's going to do now and uh, then the next thing we're going to do now that we've read the contents of that item now we know what we're removing then we're just basically just going to say stack pointer is equal to stack pointer arrow prev. So we're now making the stack pointer back up one. So it's going, so now it's going to point to the second to the top item. And uh, now that it's not pointing to the top, we can go ahead and delete the top. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that the top is uh, not pointing to anything anymore. So by typing in top arrow prev equals null it basically separates that top item from the stack so now that top item that was the top item is no longer connected to the stack and I don't really think you have to do this but I kind of like to do it that way you have complete separation before you delete the item and uh, so then I'm just going to say delete P and that should delete what used to be the top stack so basically once again when we call the top the top the sorry when we call the pop function it's going to check to see if there's any items in the stack if the stack is empty it's going to tell us there's nothing in the stack and on the other hand if there are items on the stack it's basically going to create this new pointer p and it's going to make it point to the top of the stack and then it will read the contents of that item and print that to the screen and then what it's going to do is it's going to make the stack pointer point to the item below the top and then the this line right here is just basically going to make what's going to be deleted it's going to make that item remove itself from the stack and then this will delete the item so that's what the pop function is going to do so in the next tutorial I will be doing the print function and uh, so then after that, we'll go ahead and test the program to make sure everything works. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, we'll see you guys in the next tutorial. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.